grace, mercy, biyaya at kahabagan. Yun po ay katangian na kambal, di mapaghihiwalay, katangian na makikita unang ikit sa lahat sa Diyos. Yun po ay bagay na ipinakita sa atin, ipinadama ng Diyos sa atin. Ngunit ang maganda nito, tayo mismo na nakadama, nakaranas ng ganang bagay, ay pwede nating ipamahagi sa iba. Ang biyaya at kahabagan ng Diyos. And when we speak about grace and mercy, of course, although some people are using those words para ipangalan sa mga kaibigan, those words do not refer sa mga kababaihan, mga tao, but somehow they would like to name them as grace and mercy dahil nakita sa kanila marahil ang gayong mga asal. And the uh, katangian na magiging totoo sa atin, sa mga tao, if we will be able to grasp the truth of God's grace and mercy. Magandang araw sa atin lahat. Ito po yung lingkod. Ang life coach ng Squad 244, Fred de Guzman. Tapilin po natin sa ating hanay, si Patrolman John Lloyd Lazaro. Ganyan din po si Police Corporal Joderick Benedictus. Police Staff Sergeant Ryan Garcia. Police Staff Sergeant Adio Burgess. Ang aming squad leader, assistant squad, squad leader na si Police Master Sergeant Wilray Guillermo. At ang aming uh, squad leader si Police Chief Master Sergeant Sir Joseph Aquino. Kasama rin po natin ating butiing Police Major Dale Alan Batley. Sa pag-uusap po natin patungkol sa biyaya at kahabagan ng Diyos, we come to that verse kung saan sinabi sa Hebrews 4.16 that let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may be able to obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Sa Matthew 5 verse 7, mapapalad ng mga mahabagin sapagat sila'y kahabagan. Discuss natin muna ang grace. Ano yung eksakto or should we say maaring mapag-usapan natin when we talk about grace? Ito po ba ay katangian na limitado lamang kay Kristo at uh, makikita lamang sa kanyang pamumuhay? You may be surprised that while He was on the earth, hindi Nabanggit yung saltang grace mula marahil sa kanyang bibig pero itinuro at ipinamuhay niya ang biyaya sa kanyang pagkakatawan tao. Though the Bible never gives a one statement definition, it appears the word grace, katangian ng biyaya, it appears to all all the pages of the Bible, not only the word itself, pero naipa dama, it was demonstrated all throughout the Bible. So wh- while we try to understand what grace means, it would require us to go back to that old Hebrew term, which mean, means to bend or to stoop. And later, it came to include the idea of condescending favor. So we are talking about grace. Di umano sa London, it's very common to see royalty with their sophisticated lifestyle, aloofness, distance sa mga commoner. But on occasion, royalty sa England will make news sapagat someone from their ranks of nobility we we'll stop, kneel down, touch, and bless a commoner. And that is grace. There's nothing in the commoner that deserves being noticed. They do not deserve to be touched. Lalo na ng member ng royal family. But because of grace, na nasa puso ng reina, o sino man sa kanila na nasa 
royalty, royal family, they stoop down or touch, bless a common person because there is the desire at times na talagang gusto nilang makahilwilo ang mga simpleng mamamayan. Because of grace, sa kanyang puso o sa kanyang puso, hindi po maiwasan ng pakita ng kababaang loob. Which is napakagandang tingnan. Ayon kay Dr. Donald Barnhouse, love that goes upward is worship. Love that goes outward is affection. But love that stoops, that is grace. To show grace is to extend favor. To show grace is to extend kindness to the one who doesn't deserve it. Yung magpakita ka ng kahabagan o biyaya, rather, sa isang tao, that they don't deserve it. But because of your kindness, nagpakita ka pa rin ng kagandang loob. Though it's not on the basis of their own works or own merit, but you extended, show grace. Because you have that character sa yung kalooban. And every time, every time the thought of grace ay nakikita, na ipadadama, there is always an idea na when you show grace and those who are shown grace are undeserving. And yet, you give it to them. Grace is the undeserved favor. And it is no way that the recipient is getting what they deserve. And yet, favor ang kanatinaga. Be extended simply out of the goodness of the heart of the giver. So that is grace. Now let's go to mercy. Whenever you have a uh, uh, masakit na mata at uh, irrit irritated yung mata mo, we usually use eye drops to release the pain or magkaroon ng relief sa ating paningin or simply to get the red out sa ating mga mata. And few feelings bring a greater sense of satisfaction than relief. Sabi ni Webster, mercy is the removal or the lightening of something oppressive. Something painful, something distressing. So when we are relieved of physical pain, we breathe easier. Bumabalik yung pag-asa as pain departs sa ating karanasan. And when a relationship that is broken, finally, you work things out na ayos. That sense of relief is better than anything money can buy. When we finally crawl out from under the load of a heavy burden or financial debt, walang makakakumpara sa relief na madarama mo. Yung gaan na makaalis ka dun sa pagkasadlak. That's mercy. God calls this divine gift of relief as mercy. Kumbaga, it we should consider it as the twin of the word grace. Grace and mercy are always together. They're seen together. Nga lang, medyo na-highlight yung biyaya, pero it doesn't, it doesn't matter. As long as whenever there's grace, there's always mercy. Although it's always in the shadow, mercy is somehow eclipse sa popularidad ka nga ni, ni grace. But, uh, you can always check it out. When the two are named together, although grace always comes first, hindi po ta tulad ng tao na nakakaroon na inggit si mercy, hindi po. Masaya po ang Diyos to show grace because whenever, whenever you show grace, there's always mercy. Let me give you three stories. True stories which I read, isang babae, while going home, sa isang alang-aning oras ng gabi dahil sa trabaho, huwag sa kanyang apartment, 
she was brutally attacked by few men. Late that night, she was robbed, beaten, molested. She was screaming for help. Nobody seemed to care. And for 30 minutes, nanlaban siya. Sumisigaw siya ng tulong. Nobody helped her. Nobody came to rescue her. And after 30 minutes, she was laid down sa krasada, totally abused, beaten, dead. Dumating ang mga police authority after few more hours. Ayon sa investigation, 38 people were able to watch what happened during the abuse or the molestation. 38 of them are looking, just just looking from their windows. Tinitinan ko ano ginagawa nyo sa babae. They just, just stared in silence. But nobody seemed to care. Another story, siya sa subway, isang 17 anos, he was quietly sitting, naghihintay ng tren, checking his cell phone, when all of a sudden, a man came at his back and grabbed the phone and stabbed him several times. While 11 people are just looking, walang ginawa, none of them tried to assist or pinigil malang yung tao. And the young boy was left there, duguan, until he, dead, he died. Third story, isang may kaedad ng babae papunta sa loob ng mall. Natipanok siya at ang sama ng pagkakatipanok niya, nalinsad na kanyang mga buto and she was in pain, crying for help. Pero alam niyo, dinaandaanan lang siya ng mga tao. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Umiwas sila for several minutes until isang taxi driver nakita pangyari nakita na nakahando si Mbaba Mia bubas siya isinakay niya sa kanyang taxi nila sa hospital let me give you the verses James 2 15 and 16 listen kung ang isang kapatid na lalaki o babae ay hubad at walang kakainin araw-araw at ang isa sa si inyo nagsabi yumaong kang payapa go in peace at ang isa sa si inyo nagsabi Magpainit ka, magpagabusog ka, at gay may hindi nyo ibinibigay sa kanila ang mga bagay na kinakailangan ng katawan, anong mapapakinabang dito? You see, even during Bible days, people would say, go in peace, be happy, while you are seeing, starving, in pain, in need, they just ignore. James, First uh, John, Chapter 3, 17. Dato po, ang sino mang mayroong pag-aari sa sanglibutan ito at nakikita ang kanyang kapatid na nangangailangan at doon ipinagkait ang kanyang awa. Paano mananahan? How can you say that God's love dwelleth in you? It simply means, if you have the chance, if you have the power to uplift someone's life, if, there, if you have the chance Para pagkaanin ang buhay ng isang tao. And then you did nothing. You have no grace. You have no mercy. Anong silbi ng pagiging tao natin? Ang tunay na lingkod ng Diyos ay may kahabagin. Kahabagan. Hindi kinukonsente mali. Pero may kahabagan. May malasakit. They try to get involved. They, 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 they even willing to get dirty kung kaya kailangan para tulungan ang nangangailangan. They offer more than pious words. And they are not expecting anything in return. So pagkat yun ang ginawa ni Kristo. Yun ang ipinahalimbawa ni Kristo. At ano gagawin ni Kristo sa mga taong nagpakita ng malasakit, ng biyaya, kahabagan? God will show you mercy. God will show you grace. Those who remain detached, distant, disinterested sa pagbibigay malasakit sa kapwa will receive the same treatment. No wonder, some people are living grouchy. They have nothing good. They, they cannot see anything good sa kanilang kapwa. You know why? Because they do not even care to do good to others. Pero sa mga nagpapakita ng biyaya, kahabagan, pangako ng Diyos, 
you will receive and be demonstrated, shown mercy, and in return, you will find grace. Makakakita kayo ng kagaya, ng ugali ni Kristo, mga tao, flesh and blood, interested in helping you, making your, your life easier, not harder. So it's time to give mercy and grace sa kinaukulan. Ephesians 2.4, God who is rich in mercy is telling us He is loaded with mercy. Hindi ba tayo nagagalak mga kapatid na kung hindi ang Diyos na, naging mayaman sa kahabagan, wala tayong kinalalagyan ngayon kundi impyerno. Kung hindi ma ang Diyos ay ma ma mayaman sa ka kahabagan, kaawaan, wala nang magandang buhay tayo kahit pa paano ay tinatamasa. Walang kapayapan sa ating buhay. But people just neglect Him. They just ignore Him. But yung tao na binabaliwala yung biyaya at habag ng Diyos, they lack peace. Alin nyo, the essential link between God's grace and our peace is His mercy. That's why God's infinite compassion actively demonstrated toward the miserable. Not just pity. Not simply you feel sorrow and naaawa ka lang o naintindi mo ka lang karlagayan but, but divine mercy that results in peace sa loob ng ating kalooban. Si Paul, na nagsabing nung araw na hindi pa siya manampalataya, he was a former blasphemer, persecutor, he was a violent aggressor, was allowed to become a follower of Jesus Christ when he became a believer. He became a participant in the service of the king. Ito sabi niya sa 1 Timothy 1.13, Bagaman ng unay, ako'y naging namumusong, nang uusig, mga aalipusta, listen, gawin may kinahabagan ako sapagkat kaya o'y ginawa ko sa di pagkaalam sa kawalan ng pananampalataya. God shown him mercy. Sa kabila ng kanyang paglapastangan, but when he felt God's love, he humbly submitted himself to him. In the simplest of terms, revolutionary changes occur sa ating buhay because we were shown mercy. When we were shown mercy and we, it dawned on us how God's love is so great and how His mercy endured forever, then we will be able to share such to others. And what a relief. The essential link between God's grace and our peace is His mercy. So let me ask you, why are God's grace and mercy importante sa atin? Una, because grace means God blesses us when we do not deserve it. He generously provides everything na kailangan natin. He blesses us with more than what we need so that we can become a blessing to others. 2 Corinthians 9.8 And God is able to make all grace abound to you so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times you may abound in every good work. God is showing us His goodness and mercy and grace so that we in turn show the same to others. Mercy means God does not punish us even when we deserve it. Grace was given to us even we do not deserve it. Mercy means God did not punish us even though we deserve it. Ang Diyos laging willing, ready, magpatawad if we just confess our sin and, and realize that we're sinners, His mercy will never end. Laging bago ang biyaya ng Diyos, ang kahabagan ng Diyos. At ang dasa magpatawad. He is willing. He has that endless uh, desire to redeem and to restore sinners. Psalm 86 verse 5 Pagkat ikaw, Panginoon, ay mabuti, mapagpatawad sa gana sa kagandang loob, plenteous in mercy. So, lahat na tumatawag sa Kanya for forgiveness, He's willing to forgive. Again, He, he is he's willing to forgive than to judge. God's grace saved us. God's grace helped us overcome our weaknesses. And God's grace allows us to experience victory over sin. Grace also develops uh, in us 
because uh, of God's grace, nade-develop yung bunga ng spirito. Ano po yun? We are now able to love the unlovable, show, show joy in spite of all pain. We have that inner peace. Sabi na nung pagsubok, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Grace of God help us to develop that fruit of the Spirit. Ephesians 2, 8 to 9, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And that's not of yourself, it's the gift of God. Salvation is God's gift. Romans 6, 23, the gift of God is eternal life. The gift of God is salvation. Eternal life. Titus 2, 11, for the grace of God had appeared that offers salvation to all people. Sa biyaya ng Diyos, sa kabutihan niya, kagandang loob niya, sa kabilang pagiging makasalan natin, He still offers salvation to all and those who would receive it, He would forgive them and give them eternal life. So magpakita tayo ng habag at maging mapagbiyaya. Psalm 84.11, pagkat ang Panginoong Diyos ay araw-araw, ay araw rather, siya ating araw at kalasag, He is our sun and shield. Ang Panginoon magbibigay ng biyaya at kalulatian sapagkat hindi siya mapagkait ng anumang mabuting bagay sa nagsisilakad ng matuwid. Let me close with this. There are three words that came together at Calvary. One, justice. Sa Calvaryo, justice is getting what we deserve because we're sinners. We rejected Him. We deserve punishment. And if God punishes us, then hindi tayo mingantal sa Kanya and He punishes us, that's justice. We get what we deserve. But there is another word, sa Calvary, mercy. Mercy is not getting what we deserve. What we deserve is punishment. But because of His mercy, hindi niya binigay ang punishment. Because of His mercy, na nabal sa ating buhay, sinakinilala natin yun, kanyang biyaya, kabagan, we ask His forgiveness, and we were given mercy. We did not receive what we deserve. Grace is not getting what we deserve. Again, what we deserve is hell. Tayo prataya, what we deserve is hell. All of us deserve hell. But when we trusted Him as our Savior, God gave us grace. So grace is more than just a word. It is Grace that gives a great cost to the giver. Hindi po mumurahin ang biyaya. Grace costs the life of God's Son. Dahil si biyaya ng Diyos, ang kanyang buhay, nung magkatawang tao siya, it costs his life. And Jesus gave freely of himself in agony and blood. Alam niyo po ba ng biyaya ng Diyos? Ay kinailangan kung baga huntingin tayo ng biyaya ng Diyos to, to chase us down and if God didn't run faster than us we will never be saved salamat sa kanya kabutihan at biyaya God's grace seeks to give to vile God's grace seeks to give to the wicked people that which, that which they do not deserve and can never deserve and yet when we trusted Him kinagap natin in the same token would you would you say Share grace. Would you show grace to others? Find someone today and do a favor for them. Favor in a sense that if they would realize you gave them favor, they could not possibly repay you. Hindi ko kusinti mali. But doing good to them that they would think I could never repay you. But you show them grace anyway. Perhaps it will be even even be for a stranger. Pakita niya magandang loob, magandang asal, magandang trato. Sa araw, gagantihan kayo ng Diyos sa paggawa niyang kagandang loob sa kapwa at tao. Ingat lang tayo pa lagi mga kapatid. There are people na opportunista. Sasayangin ang inyong ginawang kabutihang asal. But God will always guide us. So, don't you ever dare to forget, show grace and mercy. May God help us. God bless us all. And may God give you peace. Until next time, salamat po.